so there is a new face in the party today. If you've been following this series since the beginning, you know that per Nix's backstory, I've had plans of them reuniting with their long lost brother. Well, the time has come, everyone meet Arnes. His character sheet is now on my Tumblr, and a big shout out to my lovely friend Sanaya for not only creating the character, but also for letting me steal him to make this last part of the game feel more immersive for me. Because after these two probably get into a fist fight, they would want to confront Orin together, which is exactly what we're on our way to do. Side note, I had no idea the hirelings were so customizable, so excellent job on that, Larry. What do you know, Ernest is just as oblivious as his sibling. But Nyx would think that skull painting is pretty, and when they go to steal it, oh look, a button! The locked door has red text on it, reading, All are waited, all are embraced, none shall escape. Sicarius. Present me well from gifts thine own, or I shall rend thy flesh from bone. I can't rend your flesh, but I can rend your metal. To passions brash, thou art a slave. This sinful ground shall be thy grave. Overall, that was a pretty standard round of combat, except for Arnes is a paladin, and oh my gosh, they do some damage. You gaze upon murder's progeny, child. His most ill-trusted zealots. His faithful departed. Prodigal servants, each returns to do his bidding eternally. This is the court of the Dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. Here come those who seek to transcend, aspirants of his most profane order, the would-be unholy assassins of Baal. But you are no mere aspirant. I did not expect to see you again. So it is true. You have returned. Saravok Anchev, a relic of your cursed line, a Baal spawn who failed to become chosen. Tell me of my past. I wish to know it. I have heard it said you lost your memories. Let me revive them. You were once Baal's favorite. You worshipped him the way he would wish. Your bloodlust innate. Your thirst for butchery unslakeable. But you were foolish enough to think yourself untouchable. You didn't see Orin rising through the ranks. You were blinded by her artistry, her devotion. You believed she worshipped you as much as all the others. Your fall was as spectacular as your birth. The purest boss bone there ever was. Ruined by their own hubris. But now you have returned. Tell me. Are you here to have your vengeance on my granddaughter? No, Saravok. I'm here to slay you. Oh, noisome child. It would bring waves of enlightened rapture to duel you. But it is impossible now. I have already been sacrificed centuries ago upon Baal's own graven altar. I am now but a shadow of my former self. Arin is the one you seek to butcher. She only seeks the Balian favor you were born to inherit. 
She may have usurped you once, but all her rites and rituals will never match her to your natural gift. Baal is about to name a new chosen. All is between you and my granddaughter, Arin, now. And Arin has much to learn. Our Lord does not care for beauty. Baal cares only for death. Death in numbers. Death in droves. It is a lesson Arin will only learn in death. I wonder if you will be the one to teach her. She has already challenged me herself. We will duel to the death. She seeks to sacrifice you in our father's temple. She dreams that your corpse will be her masterpiece, but she forgets. Before your incident, you were the true master. You were murder. Pure murder. No excesses. No pretensions. I believe you will be the one to slay Arin. But you will need my help. I see you have not embraced your birthright yet. Perhaps with my stewardship, Father will bless you yet, before you may return to our Father's fold. I must first ensure that you remain as pure and worthy of his blessings as you once were. Come, child of murder, let me lead you in Baal's worship. I will not worship Baal. Though I am his spawn, he is no father of mine. Do you hear that, child? The bloodless vacuum where your father's love for you should be. You have disappointed him. You have been judged. You have been found wanting. Unworthy. You will make a fine offering to the Lord of Murder. His own blood returned to him, freed of its ungrateful flesh. Saravok can be a little tricky, but we can handle him. We'll finish him out with a little bit of that paladin action, some divine smite. Nice job, big bro. Nyx would not actually ever say that to him. Thank the gods you're here. My wrinkles are starting to chafe. As an officer of the law, I demand you free me at once. Get here and free me at once! Yeah, yeah, stop yelling. Thanks for freeing me so quickly. No idea what those Baalist Burks had planned with me, but those chains were starting to chafe. Though I do wish you'd figured this all out before I, uh, put the blame for Father Logan's murder on that poor refugee. Well, at least it's over now. I didn't do it for you. I did it to gain access to Oren. Oh, well, I'd call you rude, but I have the misfortune of owing you my life. You gave these reprobates a proper seeing to. You clearly have what I don't. Courage, insight, heroism. The city needs you. I overheard these pigs talking. 
There's a Baal temple deep within the old undercity that the cult is using. A century ago, it was destroyed by a group of heroic sorts. Let's hope history repeats itself, eh? This place is foul as piss. I'm out of here. Now that we have the amulet, we can get into the temple. Here we go. The Dark Urge storyline has been building to this. I'm actually kind of nervous. Oh, master, master, master! You have come home to your royal dwelling. <laughs> But why did you exert yourself so getting here? I was waiting to open the door. Lady Orin told me to allow your passage, but if she hadn't, I would have been naughty and slipped you inside anyway. I went through the whole tribunal when you could have opened the door. Yeah, I would have told you so, but didn't dream of interrupting when you were enjoying yourself so. What were you doing the whole time? Ah, the temple is all tidied and ready for your worshipful act of mortal combat. The eye sockets of our graven god's icon are all polished up, ready to glow menacingly as you bludgeon your sister to death. I've restacked every pile of skulls and mounted more skeletons on the walls for a cozy touch. So, you've seen Oren. We are unfortunate bunkmates, as she refuses to leave your estate. Every day she kills me as I'm trying to beautify the temple for your return, up to thrice some days. Being killed by you is so much more pleasurable, Master. All right. Open it. A thousand succubi could give me no greater delight. There's a puddle of blood on the floor as you walk in. Careful, don't slip. I hear you are to duel Lady Orin. If it pleases you, child of murder, I would have her carcass once you're finished. Um... Why? Oh, nothing untoward. I simply wish to flay her. Oh, such skin she has. Oh, so fine and malleable. Oh, what a trophy it would make. Your savior approaches. <laughs> See how it crawls towards us? Not a dream now. No, no. It is blood and bone. Carrying the tyrant's rock. <sighs> that Saravok's crimson was not yours to spill. He was mine. You had no right to take him. Did it think it could protect? Did it think it could save? Only the blades can offer salvation. You make a meaningless offering. It is my blood you must spill. You do not lie, underling. It is your blood I am destined to spill. Your death spit will stain these walls, little lamb. You still don't remember, do you, bloodkin? <laughs> How 
you screamed as my knife slit your skull. Your brain juices, sticky and sweet. A little hole, big enough for the worm. Your body, a blood sack to feed it. The favorite of Baal turned meat puppet, strung up by the sinews and plucked by my hands. This is the truth you had forgotten. You were the favorite, the chosen. Orin was your subordinate. You led the cultists of Baal and orchestrated the absolute plot. It was your genius, your cruelty, your design. At your moment of greatest triumph, when all the pieces were in place, she betrayed you, infected you, and took your place. Husk, maggot, a ball spawn, slip sliding in filth with these pigs. You don't deserve the Murder Lord's blessing. Forget Baal. It's your netherstone I've come for. It opens its lips and spews filthy lies. No, no, no! None can resist Father's blessing. He tells me, whisper quiet, the lies must be cut from your throat. Come close, my death's heads, but keep your blades unblooded. Bar demands a jewel. He wants to taste my domination. An altar flowing with his own unwilling flesh. Draining, dying. Drip, drip, drip. You should have trained harder, master. even get one hit in. Chosen one. <gasps> he is near. He comes for you. <laughs>
use it to lacerate this world. A gift from your god, your father, an offering of his affection for you, or confirmation that he owns you. I refuse. I will be free of you. You refuse me. You are my spawn. Your veins course with my unholy blood. Your life is mine. Accept your inheritance, or I will reclaim it. I don't need any of this. The only family I know are those who fight by my side. You were made to conquer, to devour. You reject my blood, and so I will reclaim it. I will make another who is worthy. For the first time in over a century, silence falls over the Baal Temple. No chants, no screams, no prayers. In the end, your own death brought you more joy than any you wrought on this land. You are slipping into peaceful oblivion. But your journey is not over. Thou hast defied Baal, thy liege and father, and in doing so hast earned a place among champions and heroes. But alas, thy courage was in opposition to the divine cosmology that bound thee to the Lord of Murder. Thou art now faithless, godless, and do want to wander the Fugue Plain for eternity. I will not permit that, though all the powers of life and death dictate that it should be so. I too still hold some power, and I invest a portion of it in thee, who hath challenged the gods and now liveth to tell of it. Thy fight is not over, and it is thy fight. For one who can look upon Baal and oppose him can survive any crisis. So rise, challenger of gods, and prepare for battle once more. Death will not claim thee whilst I... Who are you? A scribe, a seneschal, a keeper of records, and now thine advocate, both here and in the city of the dead. I... I deserve to die for all the evil I've done. The sole way to atone for thine actions is to do better in a new dawn. That dawn has come. Baal tried to extinguish thee, but his wrath is imprecise. He only succeeded in killing the part of thee he knew. The urge that drove thee to terrible acts, the spark of brutality that made thee his. But there is a new part of you that hath grown during thy travels. That part Baal could not extinguish. And so, instead of destroying thee, he hath made thee anew. He's right. You're no monster. You've saved me more times than I can count. The heart of a savior hath overshadowed the mind of a murderer. Thou hast vanquished thine urge. 
Did you know my nature all this time? I know all. But to state truths is to interfere, for the minds of mortals are easily swayed. My place, for the most part, is to observe. This intervention, the reclamation of thy soul, is beyond mine ordinary remit. But thou art extraordinary, and so are these times. Today, thou art born anew. You get to start over. To be the person you want to be. Not what someone else made you to be. Greet the bloodless dawn, child of none. Our enemies don't stand a chance. As it was, so it is again. A hero has risen from a legacy of death. Thanks to our skeletal traveling companion, no doubt. Sure. Every breath in this place reeks of corruption. I will return to camp. The air is cleaner there. Your new lease of life suits you rather well. What do you and your newborn vitality require of me? The vile urge within me has been scorched. My heart is pure at last. Nothing like ridding oneself of a god's unwanted influence to lighten the load on your shoulders. <laughs> I wasn't sure if we'd lose you to that darkness entirely. Glad to know you found your way back to us. Well done again on besting Baal and all that. It was... very twee. Especially the part where that poor excuse for a skeleton waved his magic wand and... made it all better. <laughs> I am myself at last. You don't need to fear anything from me ever again. Yes, you were so very scary. <laughs> I knew you had that sweet heart all along. I was alarmed by you sometimes, scandalized even. But somehow, by your side, I still only ever saw you. Yes, about that. Yes, my sweet? What is it? I'm an empty slate. Free to do whatever I want with my life. I want all my life to be with you. I want you by my side as well. Now that you're free, we can craft a new future together. <laughs> <laughs> Could I kiss you? <laughs> there is nothing. I'd like more. Oh, you are perfect. Every time. That confused face that the player character makes with the new kiss animation, I'm going to headcanon that Nyx just can't believe they freed themselves from the urge and are still kind of in shock that they get to live this new life. Yeah, let's, let's go with that.
So, we have the final stone. I need to see it for myself. There it is. So innocent. But such potential. You have done very well indeed. The Nether Stones pulse with psionic energy, permeating you, pulling you in line with their rhythm. The throng quickens, rising, cresting on a single feeling. A location. A morphic pool beneath the city itself. So that's where the Chosen imprison the brain. So how do we get to the morphic pool? The same way one gets to the bowels of anything, the sewers. When we reach the pool, we will find the brain, and we will end this. In death, thraldom, or freedom. But a word of caution. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. Finish your business here before you proceed. The brain will be waiting for us. Go share the good news with some people back at camp. You're cured. You're free. This merits a celebration. You did what you had to do to get yourself right. To choose the life you wanted to live. Very fucking proud of you, mate. Seriously. You're right. We should celebrate. Want to go punch someone with me? Let's go, go, go. You have vanquished the Slayer as I knew you would. You are strong. You are mighty. You are you. Well, only one thing left to do. You ready? It is done. I thought about including Arness and Jahira in the final party, but Arness would be with Gale, and I think Jahira would be leading the Harpers. So we're going with Nyx's partner, their best friend, and their runner-up best friend, Lazel. Another ball spawn buried by our hand. Ball should learn better than to send his offspring against us. They might as well be babes, dropped bare bottom into their Rashomon winter. <laughs> All right. Oakfather preserve you. I still can't believe it. My affliction is no more. I'm finally free. And a hard-won freedom at that. Well done. Oh, and how are you? You weren't harmed when Oren took you. Just my pride. I can't believe I allowed myself to be knocked unconscious and spirited away like that. Impressive that she managed to move my bulk, come to think of it. I wonder how that was managed. But in either case, it seems I was insensible for much of my ordeal. Small mercies. You have conquered your urge. You have taken back your own soul. I'm so proud of you. If I had a bottle of dragon dew, I'd open it in your honor. That's sweet. Congratulations are in order. I fancied myself the sage advisor, sworn to guide you through what it means to be a child of Baal. And while I mulled on that solemn responsibility, you went and took care of it on your own. Well done. Truly. The path of a Baal spawn is not an easy one. Nor does it ever truly end. But you found your footing where so many before you have fallen. Wherever you lead from now, we will follow. I believe you have an appointment with a nether brain. Lead then. Nature's servant awaits.
Well, you heard her. This'll be our last night in camp. And then, on to the Netherbrain. <laughs>